Hey guys, welcome back to my Lakers, my GM. Simulated a few games, a few as in two. We won against the Pelicans, lost against the Kings. We're going to be simulating a lot of games this episode. We're going to basically be simulating the whole month of November, it looks like, because we want to get Ben McLemore from the Cleveland Cavaliers. We want to try to trade away a player to get Ben McLemore. We'll probably trade away a draft pick because we have quite the plethora of draft picks. If we go to the Cavs... Uh, where are the Cavs at? Here we go. Ben McLemore is untradeable because he is. I don't know why I just did it, do this in the beginning, but Ben McLemore, like I've stated, uh, we'll just put a random player. He is untradeable for 63 days because he signed the contract after Summer League and what have you. So. Uh, he, he was signed at the beginning of the season with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Unfortunately, we couldn't sign him because we had a full roster. And now we kind of want him because he, he performed very well in Summer League. And this is probably what we're going to be doing. We'll probably, in 63 days, we'll be able to do something like this. Fingers crossed. You know, because Ben McLemore is a nice upgrade at shooting guard. So he'll probably be the backup shooting guard for this team. And I really like that 75 overall. So with that said, we're going to be simulating few games games by game before we do that we're going to take a look at the coaching settings this this episode is just going to be me in the menu screen so a lot of you guys suggested that for some odd reason you're like less less gameplay more menu screens i'm like wow okay the people the some some people some people want menu screens wow okay that's weird that that was my thought process because you know usually people post the game for the gameplay and like a little bit of menu screens but they want like whole episodes dedicated to menu screens so i'm giving the people what they want and by the people i'm giving like three people that said that so here's here's your menu screen episode we're going to be simulating through date see what happens when can we get a win against the warriors but of course it always has the auto save wish you could turn that feature off you probably can but i'm just not aware of it at the moment but i should make changes sure i'll, I'll change it so like usual, players are complaining, but we're, we're just going to ignore it as well. Ryan Anderson has voiced no comment because I've come to the realization that in my gym, people just complain nonstop. So we are 4 for 2. We're in the playoff picture. And it's, it's going to be pretty shaky. It definitely is going to be pretty shaky. If we take a look at the conferences, standings, conference, we're the second seed right now in the Western Conference. Um, that's partially just due to the fact that everyone's 4-2. and two. As for the Western Conference, the Bulls are tearing it apart out there. Wow. Miles ahead of everybody else. But let's continue to simulate games up to the Milwaukee Bucks. See what happens. Another cutscene. That's wonderful. Uh, again, no comment because... Alright, if we could continue this... Whatever we're doing right now, we're losing once a week. And I'm fine with that. As if, as long as we win all the other games, once losing once a week isn't that bad. Let's simulate through date. We're going to be going up against tough opponents, it looks like, against the Warriors and OKC. Can we win against OKC? I, I wouldn't know because they make me change the coaching settings. And we lost against the Thunder. But like I said, once a week losses, I don't mind that as long as we win every other game. That week... We only had two games that week, so unfortunately, uh, that that might affect their record. But the best teams at Timberwolves, wow. And another menu screen pops up. Jesus Christ, man. So if we take a look at the standings again, we are at the top of the division. The Clippers and Warriors, for some odd reason, they're slacking. If we take a look at the conference, though, we're the second seed still. So our last week that we're going to be simulating, and we might simulate one more, who knows, uh, we won against that. We're going to ignore our players because, you know, why not? There we go. I, I'm liking the, the consistency with this team. Would you ever consider trading? Why is this, like, why Why would these guys even... <laughs> why? Why would they ask repetitive... Is this how news reporters are? They just continue to ask repetitive questions over and over again? I think that might be. Win, loss, win. All right, so we're going to win against the Heat too, right? Uh, use global one extra guy uh, and we lost Ah oh, man you sold out you know a certain amount of home games that's that's nice that's nice and now we are 13 and 7 uh oh you see that two loss those two losses 
in that last week really affected us. For some reason, we can't beat the, the Thunder. We lost to them right there. And then we lost them again. We're losing to teams like the Portland Trailblazers and the Phoenix Suns. Oh, the Phoenix Suns are in the playoffs. Uh, the Kings aren't. Or the Blazers. So I'm, I'm not sure why we're losing to the Blazers and Suns. Or not the Blazers. The Blazers and Kings when they're not even in the playoffs. So this next game is going to be a pivotal game because look at the... I keep saying, I, for some reason, I keep wanting to call them the Grizzlies, but the Timberwolves, they're 13-6. and six. The Timberwolves have never really been good in a very long time, so maybe that's why I'm having a hard time saying the Timberwolves. But they're 13-6. and six, We're 13-7. and seven. If we beat them in the next episode, we should knock them down to where we are, and we should retain that top spot of second seed. Maybe even first, because the, the Grizzlies have the same record as us if we win against this Timberwolves team. So let's take a look at what the Timberwolves have, just so we know what we're messing with next episode. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Andrew Wiggins, Zach Levine, what have you. Okay, so Andrew Wiggins is 84. They still have Ricky Rubio. Wow. They still have Pekovic. Wow. Zach Levine's emerging. Shabazz Muhammad. Kevin Martin. Okay, so they kept Kevin Martin. Tyus Jones. Gorgie Zhang's hurt. Adrian Payne. All right, so this team looks very identical, not going to lie. Like they might oh okay i wonder if this just happened because they they were such a good team but it looks like carl anthony towns he's going to be out for six to eight weeks so hopefully we can take advantage of that when we go up against this team because this is a really identical team besides the young guys of andrew wiggins and carl towns i'm pretty sure carl towns was healthy at the beginning of the season helping them get that record but i think we could uh calm them down a little bit because if we take a look at our roster, the highest they have is 84, then a 79, 78. So they have, they only have 184 or 180. And we have, I believe, two 80s in Kobe and D'Angelo Russell. And then a 78, 78. So we got, we got some high 70s. They're definitely going to be a problem in real life. In a couple of years, if Andrew Wiggins, Carl Towns, and Zach Levine all develop. I uh, really high hopes for the Timberwolves. And who knows, it might not be this year, but next year, like in this season two of the Lakers My Gem, they might be a force on the come up trying to make a playoff push. We'll have to see. Thank you guys for watching.